pa 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 yo shorty it's your birthday we're gonna party like it's your birthday would y'all like me to do a review of the Kubota? I'm up here at Lake Blue Ridge. My stepdad sold the six-wheeler. What are those things called? A Polaris Razor or something like that? Man, they have let the water down at the lake. Holy cow. I bet they've let about 30 feet out. I mean, some people's docks are almost on the dirt. Jeez. All right, well, let's get to the point. This car's been sitting here a month. And of course, you know, it won't fit in a garage. <laughs> no, not the truck, not the XB, but everyone's favorite. My mom's 2006 LS430. Been sitting right here for a month. It was clean when it showed up up here. Now look at it. Just covered in pine needle garbage out of these fur pines or whatever they're called. But we're going to take her out for a little spin and we're going to blow all this shit off. Oh yeah, look at all this piled up on the windshield. Do a mileage check. Take her for a drive. It's been a while. I mean, it's been several months. Yeah. I think... No, this car has been sitting up here since July 4th. That's right, because that was the last time I was here and she said that was the last time she was up here. She took my stepdad's truck home to her house. Um, and uh, left her here. So it's been sitting here since July 4th. He doesn't drive it, he drives that Expedition. Hope the damn thing will start. Say, well, it looks still looking pretty good. What is that? White crud. Oh, it's lotion. My mom. What the hell? It puts the lotion on its skin. Oh yeah. Mmm, that leather smell. Man. If you've never owned a Lexus or been in one, just, you know, if you, if you're, you know, see somebody driving one, just walk up to them and say, do you mind if I smell your car? The leather smells so good, these things. All right, let's go drive this thing and blow the soot out. Boy, mom's put some miles on this thing. It's up to 87,000 now. I think last time we visited this, it had 83. This is going to be an extremely cold start. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, not the trunk, you dumbass. I'm gonna go ahead and open the hood. And as soon as I crank it, we're gonna go take a peek. Ooh, I thought it was gonna stall. It sounded like it was going to die. Oh, got a little smoke. Just a little, just a little. But what do you expect? It's been sitting since July 4th. And even though it only has 86,000 miles, it is 14 years, 13 years, whatever, almost 14 years old. Man, look at that motor. I mean, just purrs like a kid. That is a, I mean, that just, every time I get in these things, they just blow me away. Here, let's, I'm going to poke the gas pedal a little bit. Let's see if we get any more of that little bit of smoke. Eh, just a little. A little, a little bit of blue smoke. But, that's what you'd, Yeah. That's what you'd expect of one that has sat out here that long. Yeah, that's a little bit of, a 
I don't know, that might have been a little bit of gas. Hard to say, hard to say. But I'll tell you one thing, in 14 years, that's the only time I've ever seen it do that. But like I said, when it's been sitting as long as it has. How long is that? July 4th to today's September 23rd, July, August, September. That's been two, it's been over two months, right? Yeah. Ah, my mom. It's been sitting up there a month. <laughs> How about almost three? <laughs> she likes driving that big F-250 though. <laughs> She's like, man, if they just made this in a like an expedition like the excursion i was like man they need to bring back the excursion trunk open okay oh let me get that settled if they brought, ever brought back the excursion man the f-250 what a perfect platform for something like that uh new navigator those people offered to uh, their mom and them's neighbors up here, they offered to sell them a 2010 Lexus LX570, the big SUV. But it had 140,000 miles and uh, when they went to trade it in on that Lincoln, Lincoln dealership offered them $38,000 on trade on a 2010 LX570, the big SUV with 38,000 miles. That's crazy. I said, well, they must have not given them a discount off the Navigator. You know they've got tons of wiggle room in that Navigator. So they probably paid full retail for the Navigator just to get an inflated trade-in on their 570. Because <laughs> they, they said, if you know, Darlene, if you want to buy it, <laughs> that's how much. My mom was like, no, I was thinking more like about 30000 But no, y'all go ahead. Got some bird poop. Oh, man, this thing drives so good. It's been a couple of weeks since I've sold, you know, since the older or well no it's my, my lexus the one i sold for such a loss it's been a couple of weeks so i hadn't been behind the wheel oh this feels good again don't get me wrong i like my mercedes e430 but there is never ever anything that could compare to an ls 400 430 460 ls whatever it could be a 1989 LS 400, the very first one that came off the damn ship. It doesn't matter. The best cars, period. You know what? I used to do burnouts in that other one. I've never done one in my mom's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, got it. it feels good I tell you what you come up here to blue ridge georgia up here in the mountains of north georgia and the temperature falls 10 to 15 degrees period uh down off the hill up here i mean when we left north atlanta it was hot i watered all the flowers and plants it was hot you come up here no humidity it's 10 to 15 degrees cooler I mean, it says it's 79 degrees right now, and it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 90, at least, at the house. So much more pleasant up here. We're going to stay up here a few days. I've got some work i got to do up here around the house, um, helping my mom and stepdad out up here. Oh, uh, there's the new Navigator. Oh, you can't quite see it. They're building a the house down there in that hole building a uh, spec house to sell um but um yeah i finished up the uh volkswagen job for right now it's temporary uh they had a problem with uh some of the shipping of parts coming to us i still have an 
uploaded that video of a uh, Volkswagen uh, wheel and tire plant I worked in for about two weeks. I'll uh, I'll upload that video. It's it's not much. It just shows a bunch of damn tires and wheels sitting around. But um, yeah, it's going to be another week or two since we fire back up up there. So. I offered to come up and do some power washing and do some things up here for my folks and uh, take a little time out up here by the lake. Okay, it's going to take me a minute before I get out here to the Ford Lane. Got a little bit of traffic here this afternoon. Shit, this guy's losing all kinds of trash. <laughs> he just lost a 12 pack of something. <laughs> so we're running about 75 miles an hour here. I'm turning around to 2100 RPM, just cruising along. She's as smooth as always. What else do you expect? Smooth as always. I'm going to turn around right here. We're going to get us a zero to 60. It'll be slightly uphill, but you guys have seen enough zero to 60s in this, uh, this car. You get the idea. I just want to blow the soot out. Not all the pine needles are gone, so I'm going to wash this baby up either this evening or tomorrow. Crystal clear. Let's get turned around. Lift off. Now we're driving into the sun, so I apologize for that. Just a quick update on the LS430, not much has changed. Let's see, the oil change was due in February at 87,777 miles. And when I say February, I mean February of 2019. <laughs> so, it's way past the date, but we're almost to the miles. <laughs> almost, getting close. Uh, this thing still has not had its timing belt service yet, so we have got to get that done. Um, I've mentioned it to them earlier this summer, and they said they were going to do it. They were going to do it, and I asked them today. I said, y'all ever get that done? Oh, no. So, with this thing coming up on 90,000 miles and being 14 years old, we need a timing belt water pump service ASAP. Looks like I might get to do Look at those mountains ahead. Zero to 60 here. Well, probably more like zero to 70. Oh, we got Hell's Angels up here. They're about to come through here. Yeah, buddy. I got them some nice bikes. Ooh, there's new Honda. Honda Goldwing. Ooh, a couple of them. Man. those mountains up there y'all that beautiful and on the other side of that is Atlanta just gorgeous
Wait for it. <laughs> Man, that never gets old. <laughs> Engine sounds so good. Guys, y'all have a good afternoon and a great evening and whatever morning, wherever you're at. Like, subscribe, share, dislike, I don't care. Just do whatever. Uh, I read everything. I try to comment to everything. If you write something nasty, I try to pin you at the top. So, y'all have a good day. Thank you.